Hello, I'm Stephanie Pope and I'm going to be talking and reflecting on all the items that we need to do for the assignment. I just have a prompt card so that's all I'll be looking at. Um, so this is my backdrop. This is where I prefer to be even though I'm in a very, I work at an online school, everything's on the computer I'm looking at a screen all day long and then I come home and I work on my masters and continue to look at a computer all day long um, it really bogs me down and um, I prefer to be out here I actually just planted those on Monday my day off and that's what I would prefer to do not be on a social media or anything like that so that's my kind of um, learner perspective but digital media is part of everything. Um, I went to a conference recently and they were giving and awarding people badges as um, I'm sure you all know that that's kind of big now and they were awarding people for tweeting and I hear my radio station um, giving out concert tickets because you share on these digital platforms so it's, it's just everywhere, and it's a matter of if you want to participate or not. Um, and technology I've kind of embraced since um, I started teaching, and um, I've used like a language lab. I teach a, a language, and um, I've tried to integrate um, the smart board and smart technology into the classroom, and I've found much success past a projector, more of a... Um, um, just how how to use it um, to bring students up like they should play with it they love it so that's what I've always tried to do um, it's great for games um, I used to play like checkers and connect four and those types of things and so when a side of the uh, classroom got the answer right you know they would have it and they would strategically place things and that's what I loved about it was that it was an element of my the subject matter and then a whole other complexity of how to strategize and play a game um, so that was really cool and that was all using you know technology this little tiny platform just um, made a whole big difference in my class so that was the, that's kind of my teacher perspective and then I'm going to be teaching online uh, starting in August and I'm really interested to see what that's going to bring um, into my world and um, it's just working in an online school, um, we work 24-7. And uh, it's a misconception, I think, that I didn't even realize when I took this job on. Um, I'm an operations manager, so I work a lot of the back end. Like the class that we're taking, um, if you can imagine the amount of people that have to work on it just to get it to us as students, um, they have to copy out the class, they have to do all these things, they have to fix settings, they have to embed like our turn it in filters, they have to do all that before we even get to it as students. Um, and that's what I do. Um, and so, and it's just very demanding and I do tickets. So if a ticket, ha if a student, sorry, has an issue, I have to respond to that and I'm looking at my emails on the weekend because it's 24-7. If you work in an online school, I'm sure our instructors um, notice that we email them at midnight and then as a student we're thinking, why isn't my instructor responding? Um, it's a very demanding um, type of environment to be in. Um, and as far as if I'm a digital native, I I know I am according to the definition I was born after the 80s I'm not going to tell you when um, so apparently part of that criteria is that you're born in that time frame um, but I, I really try to balance it and I'm trying um, still even with my son um, he's almost two and he can fully operate my iPhone or my iPad sorry and um, he knows how to slide things and the biggest thing I try not to have him do much on my iPhone or my iPad um, I mainly try to um, do uh, photos so I open up my Dropbox and he will swipe um, and look at pictures and he'll say their names and I try to keep it very limited because um, I feel that that is a really 
great connecting tool and same with um, Skype and FaceTime. We're able to connect with family members um, and so those are the things I try to limit. I'm not going to have him just, we're not going to go to a restaurant and just you know, have him play a game and totally disengage from us. Um, that's not really what we're doing. So I would say I'm a balance. <laughs> and then um, I think learning itself hasn't really changed. It's how we learn and how we learn. It's like how my students are learning through a digital tool. Um, it's just the platform has slightly changed. So of course, how we how we receive the information has changed. Um, how a teacher um, has gone from a directed role to some um, have a more passive role. Uh, it's that's kind of evolved and the students are taking more um, control of their learning, especially if they're in a uh, 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 personalized learning environment where it's more competency based. Um, they're setting their own goals, they're um, taking more action and it actually uh, pushes that student to be uh, more of a student rather than just a passive um, uh, role. So. Um, I feel that some of the tools are great and they're helping um, students like um, like a flipped classroom model. That's a very interesting rule because it empowers a teacher to create a learning environment based on actual learning skills in the classroom, not a lecture. I'm just, you need to understand and you need to just take notes. Um, that kind of facilitates outside the classroom and then inside the classroom it's flipped to a teacher can provide more meaningful and have deeper discussions and um, they have the time to do that. So um, those are my reflections. Hopefully I met all the criteria and uh, I look forward to all the responses uh, from everybody.